Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of Andy Mac. Hey friends, um, in this episode I want to update you on my current Arduino project for my 18 months old. Um, and I was thinking about you know these episodes and these things that I'm making and um, I'm by no means an expert. In fact, I'm probably a professional tutorial follower. Um, so what you're going to see today is how I've hacked other people's code um, that I found online, open source and for free, and I'll credit them um, in the description and in my video. But I found that it's the best way to learn is that I'm super interested in electronics and programming, little projects like the one I'm working on, um, but I don't have the background and knowledge at the moment to just do it off the top of my head. So I find that leveraging open source, using uh, tools like Arduino, is making it super accessible for people like myself um, to build projects that they've been thinking about for ages but always thought were out of their reach. So for this project um, I decided to use Tinkercad to prototype my circuit. Um, I've used the 3D modeling software before with my students as a technology teacher but we never quite got into um, using the circuits tab and while recording um, this episode I found the projects tab um, which from a really quick skim looks like I can get all my 3D models and circuits for a particular project into the same place. Sweet score! Um, I really love that integration um, and when I think from yeah like a learning perspective um, it forces the habit to make sure that all of our projects and things are organized um, and I'll definitely be using that feature again. I know Tinkercad uh, is a really basic tool um, so if you're an engineer um, you might be rolling your eyes but as someone who's starting out and learning this stuff um, I really like it. Um, so I also managed to prototype a really close representation um, of my board, um, what it will look like to connect it to a breadboard and although um, not all of my components were there so I couldn't find um, just a simple basic um, on and off switch, um, I found a pretty close representation and what it's allowed me to do is to test code and actually I failed a few times on the code and there was quite a bunch of errors, um, there were quite a few errors. Um, but I yeah borrowed some code from an Arduino website and created a Knight Rider um, simulation on my board. Let's have a look at that. <clears throat> I created the simulation on Tinkercad circuits and one of the things I found real quickly um, was that I couldn't just take another, someone else's code and transplant it into my own. So one of the things I really I struggled with for a little bit was uh, trying to match the button function. So when you push a button for a certain effect to happen. Um, so yeah, as you can see in the code, um, there's all these orange lines, um, so those are stuff I needed to resolve and it actually turned out to be, I wouldn't say easy, because um, I'd be lying, I spent about an hour on this, um, but the mistake seemed really simple. So um, one of the things I found was that I didn't change um, the pin numbers that Arduino was looking for um, when the button was pushed and I spent so long just trying to figure that out. Um, and yeah, it turned out I just copied the lines directly as opposed to, um, yeah, sort of adding them sequentially. Um, so what's really cool from this simulation is I now know that my circuit will work. Um, I've got code um, that works and yeah, I'm going to plug that straight into my Arduino project. This might, there might be one more video in this series, but um, I think my goal from now onwards or after the next video um, will be to, yeah, sort of shoot all the all the clips um, in one go and yeah maybe present a 15 to 20 minute clip um, on this channel from now onwards um, and I think that will just yeah sort of make it um, as a standalone and hopefully it's more valuable I'm learning um, hopefully you're learning with me um, yeah so after this Arduino project we're just going to do a whole video projects and I don't know how long that will take me to release a video um, but I'm hoping to keep it up so yeah, thank you so much for watching uh, my second episode. Um, if you don't mind, all this helps. If you can like the video, comment, subscribe, um, say what's up. Um, um, but yeah, keep learning and stay positive.